Gold, he was perhaps most well known as a film composer. Later on, when he came to Hollywood, he won two Academy Awards, one for Robin Hood. And, um, but before he came to the States, because of the political circumstance at the time, he was highly regarded as one of the best classical composers in Germany and Austria, and actually the most performed composer after Strauss. And he was only in his 20s. <laughs> so he was really a prodigy. He started playing the piano when he was five, composed when he was eight. And his father, who was a critic, music critic, took him to see Mahler and play for him when he was nine. And Mahler declared him a musical genius. Well, this piece was written at a time when he was in love with this young lady named Lucy, whom his father disapproved, but he married later on anyway. But um, at this time, he was still very much um, longing and a lot of yearning in this piece. It's intensely romantic. Um, and it, I think it's centered around the second movement, which is a variation on the song that he wrote um, for Opus 14, um, this quintet is Opus 15. But this particular song says, the moon shall rise again. And it's so beautiful. So we start with this theme in the cello and viola. And then it develops in nine variations and culminates in this musical climax like none other. And it gets me every time. And it's, it's, um, it's really an incredible journey that it goes through, I think, maybe one of those really underrated pieces. Um, so the first movement, we, again, it's a very signature of Korngo. We start with this really sweeping quality, um, very exuberant. The key of E major, again, is really radiant, brilliant. And the third movement is a variation. It's uh, a little bit more playful, a little bit more festive and um, more, you know, happy mood and celebratory.